we have seen many uh, research design uh, uh, examples in the earlier videos today this is one of the easiest uh, research designs most of you can try if you are a novice researcher you can try to do some kind of descriptive research design you can you can use the descriptive research that's very comparatively easy and because analytical other thing you have to do a lot of thing but in the descriptive research generally you will describe exactly the phenomenon and the what you call the exact qualities of that particular uh, no hypothesis or a variable whatever you do that just you will explain that uh, uh, describe it so it generally it answers the questions of who what when where and how with a particular research problem see uh, after selecting the research problem generally this will answer this question who what when where and how associated with a particular research problem and uh, it concentrates always what is existing phenomena it just give a details about what is the existing phenomena and uh, it always aims to accurately and systematically describe a population situation and phenomenon for instance example the state of transgender living condition ensure that this this descriptive design just you will it will describe their state no how see here it is there who are transgender what are their problems and uh, you know how they are uh, you know dealing their life and all those things it can be added into that particular research so it's very simple you remember this who what when where and how uh, you know these things will be addressed uh, in descriptive design and uh, what are the things which will not tell you one thing descriptive research cannot be used to, to discover a definitive answer or a disprove a hypothesis You, it cannot give any de definite answer because it cannot uh, work on that it just simply describes second thing the results cannot be replicated the same result you cannot replicate in other condition because uh, it, it uses observational method always this observation method will record what is there because the same observation may not happen the next time so it simply uh, observes the phenomenon within that particular time frame how that particular variable no uh, reacts and that will be just simply reported third thing uh, this descriptive research it heavily dependent on instrumentation for measurement and observation because uh, it cannot do it independently that is another important how to call limitation and another example what is the first year arts student arts student speaking proficiency level in english this is an example of descriptive research so here the researcher will just uh, take a data he or she will just describe the proficiency level of english students and just it's a it's a perfect example of descriptive research similarly based on your department or the other field and descriptive research is a one of the easiest methods to take up to conduct the research i hope this video will be useful if it is useful do not forget to share to your friends and i'll catch you in the next video